My name is Adam Ziglis. I'm the editorial cartoonist for the Buffalo News, and I produce five editorial cartoons a week um, and occasionally uh, provide an illustration um, for a book page or for a cover art, but primarily um, I produce editorial cartoons. I think of what I do as really each cartoon is sort of like one part of a, of a large conversation with the readers. My primary goal as a cartoonist is to engage the community um, with issues that are important and express an opinion. And I get at these opinions with, um, t I try to make people think, sometimes I use humor, sometimes I don't, but I try to provoke a reaction um, just to engage um, in a dialogue. The editorial cartoonist in a lot of ways I think distills the, the newsroom, like the work of the newsroom, all the journalists, and, and produces something. I mean, I, what I do with my work I depend on a lot of the reporters, um, and uh, the readers sort of, I assume, have to have been informed um, like with certain issues. And then I take all the work that's been done and I kind of distill it into this creative process and provide um, you know, this visual commentary uh, that in a lot of ways can get a reaction much stronger than printed word. And I've seen, I mean, I, th I think it's even more so with the reporters and everyone else around me, um, the, the staff seems to get smaller and smaller as um, people retire or take buyouts and we don't add bodies but we seem to want to produce more work and also strengthen the web presence and the digital presence so so there's this these two opposing forces that are squeezing the journalists and you want to be valuable so you produce as much as you can um, but at some point something's got to give you really need to sort of give yourself a limit and especially, you know, in, in a, a day and age where, you know, there's pay freezes and, you know, you're not being, you're not even catching up with the cost of living, but you're expected to produce, um, you know, more work. The fact that we haven't had um, a, a wage increase in five years and in the past seven years, um, we've essentially gotten maybe like 1% um, in the newsroom. That, I mean, to me, that's tantamount to a pay cut when you factor in cost of living increases. and. It sends mixed messages to the community. Um, it definitely sends an indirect message to the, to the newsroom that we don't value you as much as we should. Um, but I had mentioned earlier that having a staff cartoonist, for example, is like a badge of honor. That sends the message to the community that we value free speech, we value good journalism. But when you're not, incre you're not even keeping up with the cost of living to pay your journalists, that, that is counter to the message. I think even for the Buffalo News brand and for the morale of the newsroom, uh, I think paying the journalists fairly is, is essential and it should be a given. Um, I think it's important to, for the journalists to create good work and not have to worry about anything um, but their work. I think that's it's extremely important.